when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to handling your emotions, this is what you gotta do. Go into a private spot and let the fuck out. You've gotta scream, you've gotta cry, you'll be angry at the world, angry that everything's fucked up, angry that you should have been in a better position than you are right now, angry that you messed up, let out, because do not hold that in, because you will resent it. You will start to resent yourself. Let out. If you've got to cry, cry. But do not show the world your emotions. You can. If the world sees your emotions, you'll be called vulnerable, you'll be called weak, unless you are literally doing it for the purpose of helping other people. You will be seen as weak. And no one wants to talk like this. We want us to talk in this like fairy tale world where everyone cares about everyone. No, they don't. Everyone's caring about themselves. Okay? So, you may view that as a bad thing. There's going to be a few close people, only a few close people that you can truly talk to. And for me, it's my friend Luke. Right? And there's a lot of other friends as well. But you let these emotions out. You let them out. You cry. Do whatever you got to do. Do not let this last for longer than a day or two. And then immediately go see your boys. Immediately go see the ones that make you feel good, that make you feel happy. Because even if you're in that state, I promise you, even a little bit of interaction with them will make you feel better. You handle that, those emotions. You go see your friends. Get right back to work. Now, they're instantly not going to fade. They're not going to fade. They're still going to linger there. They're just still going to feel it a little bit here. But that's why we do this work. We do this work so we can get rid of these feelings, so we can push forward and become a better man overall. So we're going to have to face that pain. We're going to have to use that pain. We're going to have to use it for something greater than ourselves. We're going to fulfill some godly purpose, some mission that we're on this planet for. That's what we do with those emotions. Because the truth about life, right, is you can only fully hit your potential in two areas. This bad area and this good area right a lot of times when you're in this good area if you're not careful you may get arrogant you may get up yourself you may think i don't need to work as hard or you know you appreciate and then you go straight back to the grind right those are two things that could happen and the same thing can happen with the bad area if everything's going bad in your life oh my dog just died oh my relationships are falling apart or she cheated on me whatever that's horrible but if you use that pain wisely, you can only elevate yourself up from there, or you can let it defeat you. The worst place to be, though, in my opinion, is the grey area, where things aren't good, things are great, peace and pout. You're just going with the waves of life, because that way you're not learning anything. There's nothing to be learned in that grey area. So you may as well go extreme. If you got to go off social media, do it. If you got to go off anything that makes you anxious, do it. If you got to go off this life, do it. you got to do what you got to do to make yourself happy, fulfilled, and leading towards your purpose, leading towards your mission, leading towards a thing that gives you hope, that makes you feel excited, that makes you believe that, that like, another day is worth it. Because another day is worth it. And I hope you figure that out. If you, don't, if you feel like it's not worth it right now, I promise you it is. You have no idea what God has for you. You don't have no idea what this world has for you. Sitting and crying about it isn't going to do anything, right? Feel those emotions, feel those pain, then get to fucking work, Okay? Because quite frankly, no one wants to be near someone who's depressed all the time. Because then it's going to be like, oh, here they go again. Okay? Handle your emotions. Don't let the world see you suffer. And then get straight to work. I love you all. I'll see you in a bit.